Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to be working on the detail of his hand a little bit today. And uh, so I'm going to have to put my magnifiers on. I think I originally did the hand out of monster clay. Can't remember right now. I know I've painted it. Hmm. Okay. So, what I need to do is work on the uh, detail of his knuckles and his fingers. What I'm doing is just getting this clay basically to a point where I can put it in the gallery and try to sell copies of it in bronze off of the clay. It's very expensive to... Uh, start selling your clay right off of uh, your from your clay right into bronze and this makes it a lot easier for the artist uh, if he can get a few sales from or before he takes it to the foundry so that's what I'm doing is trying to get this ready to go in the gallery for a while All right, I've taken a little Ronson all to uh, lighter fluid to smooth out the clay a little bit. And uh, this is kind of like the final thing I'm going to do on his hand right now. I will come back and revisit the hand back, uh, well, probably when I get this thing back from the uh, foundry, or not the foundry, but the uh, gallery. Well, this is uh, Saturday, the next day, and I've got a little longer to work on it today, so I'm going to get busy here. I'm going to work on his forearm a little bit, and uh, then try to smooth out the rest of his body a little bit. I'm not trying to absolutely finish the clay here. I'm just trying to get it to the point where I'm happy with it to put it on display. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the uh, maquette's arm. I'm trying to figure out the uh, muscle layout. I think I got it. Again, I'm not making Arnold Schwarzenegger, but uh, he's still got to have musculature to the arm.
Okay, I'm going to start smoothing out the clay a little bit. And I'm using rubber gloves because you never know what these chemicals like uh, this Ronsonol, uh, what kind of damage can do your skin. So it's better to keep your skin protected. I'm using just a regular dish brittle that you get at the grocery store. I need something to, when the clay is softened by the uh, Ronsonol, that uh, I need something that will smooth the clay. Okay, all I'm doing here is smoothing out areas where I've got uh, to have it smoothed out. I can't do it completely with the uh, Ronsonol and the uh, Brillo. So I got to do some of this with the uh, tool. As I said before, um, the description given by some Lakota uh, uh, who knew is that he had this a similar facial structure to uh, Little Hawk, uh, a Lakota, and I think he was related to uh, Crazy Horse, and uh, William S. Hart, unbelievably. Um, and I think I made him look too old and it's a little thing I was going to wait, wait until Monday to work on, but I think I'm going to attack it right now while I'm feeling about it. And I'm going to take down the uh, this feature just a little bit. Because he was just in his 30s when he was killed. And... Uh, I've tried to get the uh, facial features to resemble that. Also, uh, there's another picture of him. This was a, a drawing made by a, an artist who sat down with uh, Crazy Horse's uh, half-sister or sister, I can't remember which, and uh, he drew this uh, from her description. And it's basically the same features. Um, and, and she literally cried at the end of uh, him drawing this. And she said, that's him. Anyway, so I'm going by the different descriptions that I've gotten. And uh, it's up to me to combine them all into one finished interpretation I just thought that was a little strong right there
so I decided to take it down just a little. And this part of the eye just bothered me a little bit. Anyway, I'll work on this a little bit more Monday uh, when I start doing his hair a little bit more detail. And then I'll be uh, ready to take this to the, to the uh, gallery down in Jackson Hole, or at least have them come pick it up. Uh, so, I'm happy with it. I've looked at it long enough to feel comfortable or feel uncomfortable, and I was feeling a little uncomfortable with the uh, face as it was. It was just a small change, but it was one that I think I needed to do. All right, I'm just going to hit the uh, face with a little Ronsonol. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this week, and I'll see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.